N. This is an acronym that I decided my life should go by. I'm here to talk to you about my way of life that has allowed me to achieve some of my greatest goals and that will hopefully take me a lot further in my journey as I'm just getting started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm a senior at the College Notre Dame de Jamhur. I'm the type of person who believes that extracurricular activities are really, really, really important in someone's life. They teach you a set of skills that cannot be offered by academics. That's why, through the years, I took on roles that complemented what I learned at school. The leader of the BioMinds, a scout chief, a class representative, an intern at the Boring Global Foundation. And I always aim to do all that while keeping my grades at school, and most importantly, my social life. I'm not going to stand here and lie to you and tell you that everything came naturally and that it was really easy, because as a teenager, it was surely not. But what got me through this is, again, this mindset or theory that I created called the CAN or the CAN mindset. The first part of it, or the C in its name, stands for consistency. Now, let me share a quick story with you. In October of my junior year, I took my first SATs. I took them again in December and had a huge panic attack during the test. This was my first sign of burnout. I decided to completely stop working on the SATs and did not touch a single book until the summer that followed. Meanwhile, I was completely focused on schoolwork. I took the test again in August and I was able to reach my target score. Even if I hadn't studied for, for this particular test, it was the outcome of years and years of consistent work that made me grow and build stamina. This is to say that most of us are programmed to think in boxes. We believe that if we work on one specific goal, the other set of goals that we'd like to reach won't be benefited. But this is one of the many experiences that made me realize that everything we do is actually interconnected. I can say that in all of my projects, I work with friends, with people who I respect and think highly of. Of course, I was sometimes put on projects in which I did not know everybody as well, but it was always my priority to get to know everybody personally. And that brings me to my second point, which is A for accountability. I surround myself with people with whom I genuinely love working with and who have the same goals and interests as me. This way, I feel accountable for my actions, and I feel bad when I don't get a task done or leave the work to somebody else since I truly care about my colleagues and respect their time. These connections did not only turn into long-lasting friendships, but they made me want to work twice as hard since my biggest fear was to disappoint my teammates. And now, on to the last part, which is N for being non-restrictive. Before diving into it, I'd like to take you around my library. As you may have noticed, ever since I was a child, I've had this weird obsession with stationery. I collect everything from pens, markers, erasers, etc. You can say that my library and I grew up simultaneously. Think about my projects as pens and my box or library as the personal skills I've developed. When I was younger, I only had a box that could contain a little number of pens. Over the years, this box grew and became a whole room that could store additional tools. And my collection turned from one pack of pens to 100. School and friends were always a part of my life. In seventh grade, I took on scouts. In ninth grade, I became an intern on Born Global. In 10th grade, I joined the BioMinds. And in 12th grade, I started prepping for college applications. From this short timeline of my life, you may or may not have noticed one thing. I took on all these activities gradually. 
Each one of them had the time to become essential element in my daily life. Even if my position or role has surely evolved through the years, I didn't have to make big shifts in my routine since they've all been with me for as long as I can remember. As I mentioned before, everything we do is interconnected and the personal skills I've developed allowed me to master this balance between the different areas of my life. So I wasn't able to take on 5 million projects all at once, but I was able to take on 5 million projects progressively. Now, let's go back to the library for one second. As my love for pens grew, my parents started to call me a pen critic. I knew my pens perfectly, knew which pens didn't smear, which pens made my handwriting look best, and which pens had the best grip. This brings me to this overused sentence that I always hear. Maria, work smarter, not harder. But how can I work smart if I don't even know what to work on? This non-restrictive and progressive mentality allowed me to discover my strengths, my weaknesses, as well as my passions. I found my self-worth, knew when to seek help, knew when to help others, and knew when my personal skills were the most valuable. Fast enough, this balance was incorporated into my daily life without even noticing. As I end this talk, I leave you with this. I know that life has a million more projects or pens to throw at me, and that this is barely nothing compared to what's awaiting. And I'm sure that I'll have to remove some pens to leave space for some others. But I hope that this revelation will stay with me, since it has put me on the right track and allowed me to reach my full potential by discovering C for consistency, A for accountability, and N for being non-restrictive. So, if I was able to do it, to do it all, so can you. Thank you.